Woman doesn't use toilet paper to save money. Absolutely diabolical. Woman not using toilet paper to save money is crazy. So what do you wipe your ass with? Your fingers? What do you do? That's nasty. A tree branch? What if she grabbing leaves? Oh, ew. I know you stink. At that point, you just you just might need to use the toilet paper, bro. Saving money is not that important if you just... Bro, at that point, get your paper up, bro. <laughs> like, for real. Bro, if you using toilet... If you're not using toilet paper to save money, get your paper up. My name is Kate Hashimoto, and I'm an extreme cheapskate. She, they'll have you so fooled. She don't even look dirty. They'll have you fooled. The same way with these bad bitches on Instagram. They'll have you fooled. You think they're bad whole time. They got an STD. I'm a licensed CPA, and I've lived in New York for three years. Although it is the most expensive city to live in, I found ways to get around it. I have only a dollar. If New York, if New York is the most expensive city and you have to not use toilet paper to save money, you might as well go ahead and move to Arkansas with me, babe, bro. Or you can come to Texas, bro. Texas, they over there getting mansions for 3000 a month and 30 here. Would you take that? If I have to spend money, I cannot avoid it. I will try to pay as little as possible. I am a cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. But then I was a casualty of the dot-com crash. I lost. I well, cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. But then I was a casualty of the dot-com crash. I lost a career. Not for $25. I learned that the best way to live is to be very frugal and minimize my expenses. It's gonna be this is a bad angle. I done took a script. I done paused on her. She definitely looked like a turtle right here. She looked like a snapping turtle right here. Ten dollars. Will you be dirty if you hit? Chat, what do you mean? Chat, what do you mean? Are you saying you'd hit? Nigga, are you saying that you'd hit? Would you be dirty if you hit? Hell yeah. Chat, y'all disgusting. You're nasty. She's a baddie? Okay. I have only a $5 worth of change. Would you be able to take $5 for that? You gotta no, no, go. Unfortunately, I can't. You can't bring it down? Yeah, I wish I, I could, I but I can't. Yeah, then I'll go elsewhere. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Have a good day. No way she's carrying her money in the what's it called? She's a baddie. It's not just crazy. It's I delirious. I avoid spending any money at all. New York has quite a few venues where people can get together and exchange. She's in the trenches? Things. The stop and swap is one of the more formal free markets. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Good, you to drop off? Yes, I do. She's so damn cheap. We over here discovering things I've never seen before. People can bring things that they don't need to the stop and swap. And then anyone who goes there can take anything that other people bring. It might be a bit too casual for work. You never know what you're going to find at the stop and swap. That's kind of dirty. So pretty much what she's saying is that she goes to a place and trades clothes with people. Bro, they probably drop that shit on the floor. They probably stink. Imagine all your clothes smelling like other people. That's nasty. Like, okay, it's all good. Like, you might go to Goodwill one time, but you can kind of tell if it's not from your closet because of how it smells. So if all you do is wear clothes off of other people, you probably don't even wash it because you're trying to save money. I know you stink. Bitch, you might be the first human being with rabies. You are disgusting. <laughs> not quite. If I use a we can do my weird addictions next. I'm drying off cans that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse them. What? You can reuse the paper towel many times. Why pay to throw something away? Look at how she's looking at you. But look at how she's looking at you. You're, she's looking at you like she's never seen that shit before. No way. Especially when I can get it for free. Chat says she has cooties. I what don't believe in paying for furniture. I have never bought furniture. Oh, there's some chairs in the dumpster. Hmm. I furnished my place through picking up discarded furniture on the street before the trash picked it up. Now, this is pretty dirty, but this one looks much cleaner. Well, I don't have high-end, like, upscale furniture, but... 
I would say I probably saved at least a couple thousand dollars on furniture. This works well and it's much cleaner. Furniture. She's not real. She's not real. But she sounded like a sh she's an AI. This is not real. She she's lying. I have a racist joke in my head right now, but I'm not racist. You could be in the squid game right now renting real money, but you're using your parkour skills, your karate skills. I've never bought furniture. Jackie Chan using his karate skills to grab trash. You supposed to be in squid game right now. That's got to be racist. There's no way. You dumpster diving. I don't think they did that in the rounds, nigga. This works well and it's much cleaner. I wasn't even going to say it till she said that fucking shit. I average about $200 a month in basic living expenses. I own my own home free and clear. I just have to pay real estate taxes and condo fees. I didn't pay anything for furniture. I got all the furniture that I have either off the street or from hand-me-downs from other people. This is my makeshift couch. I found this in the trash outside the school dorm at the end of the school year. It's also my guest bed when people visit. This is my bed where I sleep, and um, these are actually yoga mats that somebody was trying to get rid of. She has bed bugs. So I took them. I do consider this... my bed comfortable, and I don't really have a need for a real bed. Beds cost this actually looks kind of comfortable. Hundreds of dollars, and that is- Y'all don't know about this struggle. Chat, y'all don't know about this struggle. If, if you never had to sleep like this, bro, you barely can say the N-word. You don't know about this struggle, bro. I don't really have a need for a real bed. Beds cost hundreds of dollars, and that is absolutely- They said people go to her house. She talk about a guest house. No, anybody go to your house will never come back. Going to your house is worse than getting put on punishment. Here is my small kitchen. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is Kings a waste know about that struggle. of water and energy. So now it's just storage space. What? Electric stove. What the fuck? Oh, so how do you wash your dishes? So now it's just storage space. This is Bro, she just pulled out a whole fat ass battery out of her fucking, oh my God. I know she didn't just, a battery. What is that? Electric stove that I got using a free gift certificate. I have this because my place came with a gas stove and oven, but the utility company was charging me $17 a month, minimum monthly fee, just for having the gas turn on. I rarely cook, so I got the gas shut off. Now the stove is a storage area, and the I also have some magazines storage. here to um, use it as a table. A magazine as a table. Yo, 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 what why is she why is she forcing the trenches? Why is she forcing the trenches? Come on! I normally don't spend money on clothes. I haven't bought any clothes in probably eight years. The last time I bought underwear was 1998. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Bro, McDonald's is gonna have you living better than this. You got it go. You got it go. You got it go. You got it. Ever bought socks? This is one of my undershirts that I've had since I was a child, pretty much. <laughs> and I, I got these. At this point, go move back in with your mama. These shorts on sale in 1999 for, I think it was $15. These are too wide now for this elastic. Terrible drip, nigga. Fuck out of here. That shit ass. That shit is fucking trash, dog. Get the fuck off the airway. Oh. Look like I'm grandma pants. Years. So I take this. Not only is she getting hand me down, she's stealing her auntie pants. Binder clip. And I clip it together and it fits fine. And these shorts have lasted me uh, 13 years going on and hopefully more years. I store my toiletries in this box. I don't believe in paying for toiletries. I'm subscribed to many different mailing lists and I also keep my eyes on freebie sites whenever I hear of any free sample offer that's for something that I would actually- Martin Luther King actually was living better than her. This nigga Martin Luther King, bro, Malcolm X? Yo, that was 5,500 years ago. They was living way better than these niggas. 
Ain't that crazy? Martin Luther King probably has way more drip in his closet than her. The use, I would go and fill out a form. Here are some free samples of sanitary pads and tampons. And also, I sometimes like go to some promotional events where um, freebies are being given out. Dental floss, contact lens solutions, toothbrushes, toothpastes, free samples of deodorants, free samples of razors. I'm a big fan of free samples. Maybe I'm an extreme sampler. I don't do laundry. Uh, you have to pay quite a bit in quarters, so... She's an AI, bro. She's not real. Whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. You'd say I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. If she says the word free sample one more time, I'm ending stream. Okay, I need to get detergent and bleach onto my clothes before I put them in the shower to soak. Get the angles right, bruh! And once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. Yo! I almost- That shit is still brown! You need to really clean that! Bro, that shit is still brown. Okay, we didn't have to see you in the shower, though. Bro, that shit is still brown. I used to get my hair cut once a year at a beauty school. And then I decided I would cut my own hair. A former roommate. And you fucking yourself up. Yo, you need to go to some beauty sample. Who, wherever who cut your hair, they you fucking yourself up. It's leaning. One side goes lower than the other. Bitch got the same haircut as a fucking Fortnite character. Shadow Ops haircut, bruh. It's actually left this behind. And that has worked out much better. I have heard that normal people pay $100 for a haircut. Now, that, that is, that's very hard to imagine. Look at hers! You need to pay someone! Imagine, I can't believe that. Got the I Wendy's haircut. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinate it, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. I you just said you reuse those paper towels! I know your house stinks! Oh, Her house man. probably smells like a jungle, man. man. Her house probably so smells like the funkiest shit I've got, ever oh, seen in my life. Using those paper towels, you dirty ass nigga. Just buy some paper. Just buy some toilet paper, bro. Goodness gracious, bro. The yeah, the cameraman for show got a gas mask on. The cameraman was disgusted. Oh my. You got it go. You got it go. Let's let's get us let's get us in another one. 